Hello, I'm John Aston. I'd like to invite you to join me for a look through the Adams Family album. It'll be another glorious chapter in Adams history. <laughs> this is a salute to the whole family. Wait till you see what they've got cooked up for you. Fine beginning. Every day is a party with us. Jones? What kind of a name is that? A star is born! They're creepy and they're kooky. The less said about that, the better. Mysterious and spooky. They'll scare the wits out of people. They're all together ooky. Never heard such descriptive language. The Adams family. Really tight-knit organization. The house is a museum. A person's home should reflect their personality. When people come to see them. I wonder who that could be. May not be a who. It may be a what. They really are a scream. The Adams family. We do try. Neat. I beg you, don't tamper with perfection. Sweet. You're dearer to me than all the bats in all the caves in the world. Petite. I couldn't have said it better myself. So get a witch's shawl on. Looks like a perfect fit. A broomstick you can crawl on. There's a touch of madness around here. We're gonna pay a call on the Adams family. <laughs> Adams Family first came to my attention uh, after I uh, heard from Filmways, who produced it. Uh, I had been in a movie for Filmways uh, uh, right after On Dickens, He's Fenster, uh, my first series. Uh, this movie was called The Wheeler Dealers, and they called me and said uh, they'd gotten some good uh, preview cards back on me and wanted to do some projects. They had three projects, uh, two movies, and a television series. A uh, television series turned out to be The Addams Family, or a series based on the cartoons of Charles Adams. Oh, man, it makes me go all tingly all over just to think about it. They told me they wanted to build the series around the butler. I would play the butler, and uh, <clears throat> uh, I remember trying to imagine how I would, how I would stand, how I would be like the, the butler, because I didn't think I was really uh, uh, the right uh, physical uh, kind of guy for that part. Do you think I'd make a convincing butler? Darling, I couldn't imagine a subtler butler. <laughs> when the meeting was over, I went home thinking, well, this will never happen. I got a phone call from a guy who was uh, sitting there, but very quiet during the meeting, named David Levy. And David said, this is really father knows best with different people. What a lovely compliment. I knew what he meant right away. Well, for many months David and I met and the character of Gomez was really uh, developed during this time period. <clears throat> I had said uh, uh, I had said I thought he should be a romantic character and madly in love with his wife and uh, uh, David agreed and that's uh, really where the genesis of the uh, uh, Gomez freaking out over Bobola or French or Tish's bullfrog. I always loved the bullfrog. I do hope everything goes well tonight. How can it fail, my dear? You're such a perfect hostess. Darling. And if the bridge gets dull, you can do your animal imitations. <laughs> do them now, Tish. Oh, darling. Please. Very well. the bullfrog, Tish. <laughs> bullfrog, it drives me wild. <laughs> Let's not play cards tonight, Tish. I feel like honeymooning myself tonight. Darling, you're so impetuous. Bridge first, bullfrog later. <laughs> Do the bullfrog for me, Tish. <laughs> please, please. Well. It's our turn now. They won't see us for three days. 
Spurgle. Voila, I have it. Tish, that's French. Please, let me tell you my idea. Let me tell you mine. Querida mia, you are a gem. Tasty one, too. Darling, do you remember our second honeymoon at Niagara Falls? In Niagara Falls. It was a divine cave. Free showers, any time of the day or night. Ah, that was living, mon ami. Ooh, 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 Tish. When you speak French, you drive me wild. Speak some more French, Tish. Anything. Tout à l'heure. La plume de ma tante. Mademoiselle from Armentiers. Anything. You are a devil. When the blazing sun has turned to mud and the moon lies dead in a pool of blood and the tom-tom beat of eternity starts, whom will I love in my heart of hearts? Morticia. Gomez, that's beautiful. It's such a perfect night for poetry. I just wanted to show you that Lionel's not the only one who can write poetry for you. Oh, Lionel, he couldn't hold a candle to you. Hmm. Perhaps we should let him try it sometime. Might be a fascinating experience. Excellent idea, Catamilla. We'll spend the afternoon at Lover's Leap. What'll I do there? We'll make love, and you'll leap. Betrayed. I've been yours since that first day you carved my initials in your leg. And I have been yours since the day I first saw you riding side saddle on a buffalo. Carry <laughs> Dear, en garde. Tish. <laughs> that French goes right through me. Yes, sir, we're carting. Be right with you. <laughs> Darling, what are you doing? Marking my place. <laughs> Perfect. That's the look that used to get the girls. <laughs> going to be late for their birthday party. Would you ring for Lurch? You ring. Morticia. Don't move. Remember how I carried you across the threshold that first time? Not only across the threshold, but through the living room and up the stairs and into our room. And I dropped you only once. Thank you, Thing. Hello? <laughs> what? Oh, hello. Yeah. Hi, Cousin Ed. How are you? You enjoying the show? Well, stick around. We're going to have more of this stuff. Yeah. You too. You can watch, too. It's okay. Is can, I, can they watch, too, Cousin Ed? Yes. Yes, he says you can. These are good kids that did bad things. My ex-girlfriend and I raped her also. They're stealing, selling drugs, and more. A 13, 14, 15-year-old boy who rapes other people. You've got to talk with your kid over and over and over again. If you don't do it, you're going to lose your kid. Keeping kids from becoming tomorrow's teen killers, Montel Williams, a cool head for hot talk, the young and the violent. Next Montel Williams Show. Tonight at 9 on Channel 50. Test your Adam's IQ. What is Thing's full name? And was he Gomez's childhood friend or Morticia's? We'll have the answers when the Adam's Family Album returns. From Hollywood Pictures, Thomas Jefferson Johnson has discovered the ultimate con. I am running for Congress. Why you no vote Jeff Johnson? He the name you no go down vote for Jeff. I don't know why you gotta come right to here and tell you this. Are you crazy? Now he's doing to Congress. What Congress has been doing to you, Eddie Murphy. I got a sprinkler too, now. Back All right. The Distinguished Gentleman. Yeah, I'm the man. Rated R. Starts Friday, December 4th at a theater near you. Want to look your best for the holidays? Look to Walgreens. L'Oreal Performing Preference Hair Color is just $5.59. Buy two and get a coupon by mail for another one free. Men's and women's Gillette Sensor Razors are on sale only $2.99 each. They're just 99 cents after rebate. And save on 8-ounce Suave Hairspray or 16-ounce Suave Shampoo and Conditioner. Your choice, only 79 cents. Looking good and saving money are both easy at Walgreens. 
Thing's full name is Thing T Thing, and the T, it stands for Thing Too. And though Morticia finds Thing handsome and handy, Thing was Gomez's childhood friend. I had discussions with David Levy for several months before we, before we actually went into production. Actually, before we had a deal. In fact, an interesting sidelight is that uh, the show called The Monsters, which went on approximately the same time as The Addams Family, called me in, was interested in uh, my being in the show The Monsters. And the, even though uh, they were, as far as I can recall, ready uh, with some kind of offer, uh, and The Addams Family uh, had not yet uh, gotten an okay from the network, uh, I, uh, I felt a certain loyalty to David Levy and uh, to the Adams family, and uh, so I, I, I said, uh, no thanks. Good thinking, sir. Finally, once, uh, once the show uh, began to seem like a reality, we began testing for the other characters. The key to success, Carita, the ability to detect and choose good manpower. But the... Uh, uh, there seemed somehow to be just one person who was really right for each role. Uh, no one compared to Ted Cassidy uh, for Lurch. You're the butler? Lurch, <laughs> sir. And uh, even though we had many, many very interesting people reading Uncle Fester, Jackie Coogan uh, brought, in the first place, so much experience and such a rich career with him. And he also had a great attack on the role. Oh, boy, that's me! Blossom Rock uh, was na a natural for my mother. You sure struck oil. And Lisa Loring and Ken Weatherwax uh, uh, somehow just seemed perfect for the uh, children. Well, speak of the little devils, here they are. But uh, there was no Morticia who was really right. And we tested quite a few. And then somebody got the great idea of offering the part uh, to Carolyn Jones. The minute I saw it, I said, that's Morticia. Uh, Carolyn was uh, a, quite a movie star at that time, and uh, uh, people wondered if she'd do a television series, and uh, they came back to me and said, she really wants to do it. Uh, would you be willing to give her uh, first billing uh, so we can help sweeten her deal that way? And I said, no problem, uh, because I was anxious to work with Carolyn, too. and. Uh, Oh, it worked out that uh, uh, somehow the two of us will be always linked. Don't they make a handsome couple? He's a man. She's a woman. Perfect match. Uh, the last I saw of Carolyn, which was uh, shortly before she passed away, uh, she and her husband had uh, asked me if uh, I would deliver her eulogy. And... Uh, I, uh, it was a strange request you know, from someone who was still alive, but uh, of course, you know, we knew she was going to die soon, and uh, I said, of course, I would be honored. And uh, uh, I, I remember the last time we saw each other, she was, uh, uh, you know, had, had deteriorated a great deal uh, because of, uh, of, of the disease, but somehow, uh, even in her thinness, her, her gauntness, she was still beautiful and, in fact, looked very, uh, uh, very much like a, one might say, a classic drawing of, of her character. Her eyes were just gorgeous and she was still extremely beautiful. And I'll, I'll never forget that. Uh, and I, uh, I, I know in the eulogy I gave, I think, one of the one of the things I remember uh, saying uh, most clearly was uh, that she had this tremendous sense of humor uh, and a great laugh, and uh, she really did uh, create a wonderful feeling uh, on the set. And uh, uh, I do, from time to time, miss nibbling her arm, as I told her in a phone conversation once. <laughs> Having that woman laying down in his arms like that with her hair straggling down all over her shoulders and her eyes afire and her cheeks aflame. You saw all that? Yeah. And I only caught a glance. A wonderful life together. Our magical moments. Gone. Broken. Smashed to bits. 
Pardon me. <laughs> Gee, Dad, Morticia, what a performance. Worthy of a Sarah Bernhardt, a Greta Garbo, a Mamie Van Doren. Morticia, you're all woman. Yes, I know. <laughs> For you, I'll do it. Oh, darling. Say it with flowers. When David told me he wanted to do a series based on the Adams Family cartoons uh, and, and put it in this framework, I was very excited. Uh, Charles Adams cartoons uh, had always been uh, something uh, important to me. Did it ever occur to you that he might not be normal? Nonsense, my dear. He's just as normal as you and I. When I heard that I was going to be playing this character, who was unnamed at the time, the father in the Adams family, uh, I immediately went back to the cartoons uh, to try to discover what there was in the cartoons that I loved that we could put into a television series. I shall conduct an investigation immediately. Finally, I concluded that they were, in a sense, a celebration of life. And I determined that that I would create a character that was uh, representative of my own love and joy in life. He's charming. Rich. Attractive. Magnetic. Impossible. Exactly. We find in the Adams Family an interesting phenomenon. These people on the outside are strange. They're weird. They're different. They're, one might even say they're unappealing. But underneath, they're OK. They are probably healthier. As a matter of fact, I used to say we were health, the healthiest family on television. Remember, children, not every family is as fortunate as we are. At that time, it was historic to have a husband and wife who really loved each other. And uh, uh, it, it was just unusual. It was so unusual, all we had to do was be in love, and we were very different. Oh, there's nothing more romantic than a dark, chill attic in a thunderstorm. <laughs> We spend some of our happiest moments up here on nights like this. <laughs> Darling, will you ever forget our honeymoon and that wonderful sandstorm in Death Valley? You sang my favorite song to me. Sand gets in your eyes. <laughs> Tish. We haven't been alone up here since the flash flood on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, Kenny. You're dripping. <laughs> Sounds. For want of a shingle, a lovely moment is lost. I used to joke, I used to do a, a promo uh, saying, uh, Hi, this is Gomez Adams. My wife, Morticia, and I are the only well adjusted couple on television. Tune in and take a look. If Dr. Shalon is tops in his profession, he, he says that couples who fight like cats and dogs are really the happy ones. Happy caramia. Ecstatic cavaliero mio. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> Darling, I'm worried. Do you think there could be anything wrong with our marriage? I couldn't be happier. Querida, if our marriage is shaky, I want to keep it shaking for all eternity. The Adams Family album will return in a moment on WPWR TV. Sears Brand Central. When I look into those eyes, I wonder what the world will be like when Ben is my age. You see, I'm concerned about my baby's health, but I'm also concerned about the environment. That's why it's not easy choosing a diaper today. So I looked into it. And I chose Pampers because dry skin is important to healthy skin. Compare cloth diapers to Pampers. Pampers Super Absorbent Core stays drier next to his skin. My baby deserves a drier diaper, and all our children deserve a cleaner world. Mm. Since 1986, Pampers has reduced the bulk of its diapers by almost 40%, and packaging materials by 80%. And they're working with several communities on lasting solutions to help keep diapers and other household trash out of landfills. Call for more information. Training is what made the National Guard and Reserve successful in the Gulf War. The same training that makes your employees better when they come back to work for you. Be a hero. Give your employees the freedom to protect ours. 
Grand opening sale in Aronson. Just in time for the holidays, Aronson opens store number eight, our new mega showroom at 85th and Cottage Grove. All eight stores are celebrating. Save up to $600 on furniture, appliances, and electronics. Register to win over $50,000 in quality merchandise at all eight Aronson stores. No payments for three months. Zero percent financing up to one year. No money down. It's Aronson's grand opening sale. Come on in. Aronson. We had some enjoyable gimmicks on the Adams Family. One I liked particularly was the one that provoked the now fairly well-known line, you rang. It went like this. No, 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 no. You see, you got to bang the camera when I pull this in. That's supposed to be the house shaking, and then you put a sound in. We try it again? Okay. Much better. Very, very good. Okay, now get this out of here. <laughs> Quite a bell. <laughs> yes, Gomez is very fond of it. But we can never use it when we have a cake in the oven. Pull the noose, Lurch. <laughs> you see? With Smiley helping, you can take things a little easier, relax a bit. Not only that, you'll no longer be a plain butler, Lurch. Now you'll be head butler. Head butler. <laughs> well? Good. With Smiley doing the menial tasks, Lurch will be free to do all those special favors we love so. The things that only Lurch can do. Nobody does a back scratch like Lurch. It's those talons of his. <laughs> My back itches, Lurch. You know the spot. You rang Stretch. Ted Cassidy played Lurch. He also played Thing. Uh, many people didn't know that for quite a few years. But the uh, hand coming out of the box uh, was Ted Cassidy's hand. Once in a while, Ted was in the shot. And uh, so we had to use someone else's hand, and we just picked the biggest hand around. It usually was the assistant director, uh, Jack Vogelman. Thank you, thank you. Ted, inside, Ted was uh, uh, quite an artist. Uh, his characterization of Lurch, to me, is, is a poetic masterpiece. Uh, I've, uh, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed his first reading for the role tremendously and uh, I, um, I, I guess uh, uh, it has something to do uh, with the fact that he and I shared a lot of things together. We were very good friends and uh, during the filming of the show he and I used to hang out a lot together. Uh, we would watch uh, dailies at lunchtime or uh, eat some kind of horrible meal from the roach coach together and uh, and discuss uh, anything from art to politics to religion uh, Ted and I had some great times together <laughs> Ted was looking out the door in one of the shows so I'm not sure I think it was the new neighbors meet the Adams family but Ted made a little sound I heard that sound and I said what a great sound for this character. And so, while we were filming what turned out to be the Adams Family Tree, and somebody uh, says, the, they say you're kooks. And I, Gomez says, kooks? And uh, <clears throat> I said to the director, why not get a shot of Lurch uh, upon hearing the word kooks going, oh, oh. and uh, they said, okay. So they got a shot of Lurch doing that, and uh, everybody liked it. He said we were a bunch of kooks. <laughs> kooks? The next show we were shooting was called Gomez the Politician. And uh, I wrote a little piece to go in that show and took it to Nat Perrin. Uh, we shot it, and it's in the show. As I, as I recall, that may have been the first writing I did for television. We want to get our butler Lurch on television. We feel he'll appeal to the women's vote. Camera moves in. 
It's a close-up of Lurch. Lurch expresses himself on the candidacy of Sam L. Hilliard. <laughs> Animal magnetism, you can't top that. <laughs> From that point on, of course, that was part of Lurch. One of the adult members of the cast who's still around is uh, Felix Silla, who did Cousin It. Uh, Cousin, it uh, Cousin It was one of my favorite characters, because he, of course, was an Adam's, close Adam's relative. And uh, I just liked the way he expressed himself. <laughs> I didn't get the last line. And then Marie Antoinette says, Operator, I've been cut off. <laughs> you know, it, it's not the joke, though. It's the way that he tells it. Felix was great because uh, he was, at that time, I believe the, the smallest uh, little person uh, in the country. And, and so that wig, uh, that wig was really uh, uh, perfect on him. Uh, it, it, it hit the floor and uh, uh, very tough to do. Uh, Felix, uh, many a day, uh, you know, he was practically passed out from the heat underneath all that hair. <laughs> Sure, 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 sure. Uh, stewardess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're a stewardess, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> when the Adam family was reviewed, I was compared uh, to three people, generally. Peter Sellers, Ernie Kovacs, and Groucho Marx. I, I had uh, consciously uh, no desire to imitate or uh, you know recreate any of those people and I remember complaining about uh, the comparisons to Nat Perrin who was a uh, writer producer Nat had written for the Marx Brothers and uh, uh, was a, a, a most talented man and said to me and in one sentence he straightened me out he said my boy they're all good don't knock it we do these shows in, uh, in uh, sometimes two and a half days, maximum three days. Uh, and he wrote like a whirlwind. And somehow, his stuff was very, very easy to do. Mama prefers a skateboard. Mama and her dignity. Gomez, do you know what the penalty is for bigamy? Of course. Two wives. That's an old joke. That's an old law book. I'd like to propose a toast. To my future son-in-law, Gomez Adams. I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> a little joke, huh? <laughs> it's no joke. No joke? You are engaged since you were five. You proposed when you were five years old? It must have been a wild one. <laughs> no propose. Marriage contract is signed in the blood by Adam's grandpapa and me. <laughs> I'm already married to Morticia. You are married to your sister. Sister? <laughs> See? Who? He. Me? I am not his sister. We're husband and wife. Husband and wife, are you making salt? Who? He. Me? See. She. 
face still is the ten faces. But Don Javier, you're the best shot in all of Spain. Huh? You're the best shot in all of Spain. That's why I do not say swords. <laughs> I'm John Aston. Stay with me here on Channel 50 for more of the Adams Family album. Sears Brand Central. Don't miss this sale. For just three days, all refrigerators, all washers and dryers, all dishwashers, all these appliances and more. They're all on sale. All TVs, all camcorders, all forehead VCRs. You know the one you want's on sale because they're all on sale. Save as much as $200 and with the lowest monthly payments of any superstore. But it's only through Saturday and it's only at Sears Brand Central. You can count on me. Sears Robot and Company. If you said the Bahamas, you're not only right, you're close. The Bahamas, the country Columbus first set foot on. Call your travel agent or princess vacations. Your dollar goes further in the country that's close. I'm Greg Orsinger at True Values Around the Home. Today, several ways to help you get organized. From viewer Louise Massa comes a simple but time-saving home hint. She stores her trash can liners in the bottom of her trash can. It really does make taking out the trash a lot easier. And viewer Carol Webb Carvalho sent us a home hint photo. Carol makes great use of the dead space under her sink. She mounted hinges to the sink panel and attached some drawer organizers. Keeps her dish scrubbers and sponges out of sight. In the store, everything from your sweaters to your kids' toys, Rubbermaid makes a complete line of stackable see-through storage boxes. Durable boxes with tight-fitting lids, available at True Value. If we use your hint, we'll send you a $100 True Value gift certificate. Send postcards, photos, or better yet, your home video. True Values around the home. P.O. Box 31730, Chicago, Illinois, 60631. I'm Greg Orsinger, around the home. Isn't it amazing how fast kids outgrow their hockey equipment? At Play It Again Sports, we'll buy that old equipment and sell you something in a better size. Play It Again Sports. For used sports equipment of all kinds, and even new sporting goods, visit your nearby Play It Again Sports store. Our equipment may be used, but it's not used up. Call 1-800-PLAY-IT-1 for a location near you. Here's more Adams Family Trivia. When Gomez met Morticia, it cured Gomez of what disease? And just whose uncle is Uncle Fester? We'll have the answers when the Adams Family Album returns. Charles Lazarus doesn't kid around about the American Express card. Everything works with a card. It's simpler for me. He likes our way of billing. It's the easiest. The nice thing about American Express is I can ask for the backup. It's all in one place. It's one thing to check. Make things simpler for yourself. Apply for the card. You can use it at Toys R Us and around the world. If you've always wanted the card, just call. It can make a world of difference. You'll have people you can call on when you need us. No preset limits on your spending and freedom from runaway interest charges because you pay your bill in full each month. I buy the majority of my purchases, frankly, with the American Express card. Apply for the card. You just might find yourself using it for everything. Call for the American Express card. And stop kidding around. People who think smart and drive smart choose Haggerty because Haggerty Pontiac offers the finest selection, service, and prices on hundreds of brand new Pontiacs every day. Like the hot new Pontiac Grand Am, Haggerty Smart Buy priced at only $1.99 per month. Or the sporty Pontiac Grand Prix, Haggerty Smart Buy priced at $2.23 per month. Or discover the luxury and performance of the Pontiac Bonneville, Haggerty Smart Buy priced at only $2.85 per month. With value and integrity, it has to be Haggerty. 
It's a UFO. No, it's not. It's a Geo from Classic Chevrolet Geo in Waukegan. And it says, win this Classic Geo at Nelson Brothers Furniture. Nelson Brothers? It's giving away a car? You bet. It's a classic Christmas celebration of furniture, appliances, and electronics. Now double discounted for the holidays at Nelson Brothers. What a Christmas present. A new Geo from Classic Chevrolet Geo at 425 North Green Bay Road in Waukegan. It's the best bottom buy in the business. No purchase necessary. Visit any Nelson Brothers Furniture store for details. When Gomez met Morticia for the first time, it cured him of his chronic bronchitis. And Uncle Fester, he's from Morticia's side of the family. Music was a part of the Adams family, not this kind of music, but uh, uh, I, <clears throat> I remember one day on one of the early shows, uh, Vic Mizzy coming in with, uh, with this uh, tune, and he wanted us to snap our fingers. And I remember thinking, why should we snap our fingers? What does that have to do with my character? Uh, but uh, I thought, hey, well, it's a catchy tune. I'll snap my fingers. There were other elements of, of music in the Adams family, of course. Uh, Morticia singing. a strange effect on people. Not all people. I wonder if a bugle would have the same effect. Concentrate, Kitty. Concentrate. <laughs> That's a mistake. Yeah, I think I better get another song. <laughs> the sound of happy voices raised in song. They are much happier now, aren't they, darling? <laughs> now that Lurch is home to stay. <laughs> darling, why isn't Lurch singing? He has a perfectly lovely voice. Well, there are a few more fans hanging around outside. We didn't want to take any chances. <laughs> Darling, you think of everything. Lurch playing the harpsichord. That was perfect that uh, Lurch would play the harpsichord because Lurch was a classicist, uh, no doubt of it. Uh, he, was, uh, he was Hamlet in a giant's body. She does love her giraffe burger. <laughs> and dinner music. He's 
instead. Nonsense, darling. That's the way he sings. He'd be better stand. You know, I think Lurch has mm -hmm. talent. For dancing, juggling? No, for folk singing. They all sound like that on our TV. Must be out of order. <laughs> talent, doesn't he? I'm gonna make this guy the biggest thing in the music business. He's already the biggest thing in the butler business. <laughs> Show him, Lurch. Stand up. Oh, he is a big one. And still growing. <laughs> He'll sweep the country. Not so fast, Pickle. He hasn't swept the kitchen yet. <laughs> Darling, country first, kitchen later. <laughs> Grab your hat, boy. We're gonna go down to the studio and cut some records. <laughs> I'm afraid dear Lurch is much too shy. You just forget about it, Lurch. I'm sorry you came out here for nothing. For nothing? Just a moment, my dear. This is the sort of thing Lurch needs. He's too inhibited. This will bring out his true personality. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the mere thought of it has him bubbling. <laughs> well, it's all settled, Pickle. You bring your recording equipment over after supper. You've got a deal. And you're gonna fracture him, pal. My, that sounds attractive. <laughs> yeah. An absolute inspiration, Morticia. Suits him perfectly. <laughs> well, come on, Lord. Give it to your old baton. <laughs> Let yourself go, Lurch. Just pretend you're in the jungle again. And they're beginning to start the ancient fertility dance. You can pretend that, can't you, Lurch? I'll try. song that gets you. Right here. <laughs> Don't be a hog. He'll print up the bog and vote for Sam L. Hilliard. He'll stick to the issue. He may even kiss you. So vote for Sam L. Hilliard. Honest and fearless. Sam L. is peerless. He's a man for a whole ways dump. So don't be a goat and just catch a vote for the pride of our city. Swan. He is a music lover, isn't he? Yeah, it reminds me of Aunt Trivia. Oh, was Aunt Trivia a music lover? No, she just liked to go around kissing harpsichords. <laughs> It's a smart thing. <laughs> I'm John Aston. Stay with me here on Channel 50 for more of the Adams Family Album. 
Whoopi Goldberg to cop with an attitude. I tell you, I'm bleeding to death. Yes, honey, I know. I shot you. And she's packing more than just a punchline. You know, everywhere I go, people are dying to me. Sam Elliott's her partner. He's all guts and no glory. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I missed you too, Rizzoli. Together, they're busting up the bad guys and double-dealing the drug lords. Does that come in adult size? Fatal Beauty, Friday night at 7 on Channel 50. Yeah. Yes, I got to get to my show. Let's go. Easy. Stetson Cologne. Comfortable, easy to wear. Stetson makes it easy. Say, you like country music? Should I? Well, right now, where's that great smelling guy who got me here tonight? I've got a front row seat here just for you. Stetson Cologne. Easy to wear, hard to resist. Time for more Adam's Family Trivia. What is Morticia's maiden name? And what was the real hair color of the actress who played her? We'll have the answers when the Adam's Family album continues. America's best contacts and eyeglasses will beat any eyewear price. Daily wear soft contacts or two pair of great eyeglasses complete, including the eye exam, $39.99. At America's Best, get two pair of high fashion eyeglasses or a pair of contacts, $39.99, including the eye exam. Call America's Best Contacts and Eyeglasses. Final days. They're hot. 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 River Oaks is making history. By offering amazing deals on Lincolns and Mercuries with electrifying specials. Plus thunderous savings on everything in stock. Including town cars, marks, continentals, grand marquees, and cougars. They're all at River Oaks Lincoln Mercury. On 159th Street in Calumet City. They're Chicagoland's very own Land of Lincoln and Mercury. Backed with an incredible service department and body shop. River Oaks Lincoln Mercury. They're hot. Hot. Hope. I just didn't care. I couldn't look in the mirror at myself anymore. I was ashamed of myself. Each day was just about how was I going to get high this particular day. Nothing else really seemed to matter. I'm Roger Cohn of the National Recovery Institute's group. If drugs and alcohol are destroying you, our program can help you rebuild your life. Call us now, toll free, at 1-800-535-8444. They gave me my start. How about new furniture for the holidays? At Gaines Furniture Outlet, we have a huge selection of in-stock designer styles or get 90 days free layaway. Like this rich leather look three-piece set for only $2.99 or this plush traditional three-piece set for only $3.99. Four-piece bedroom sets from $1.69. Plus, we have truckloads of new bedding in stock from only $16 each piece. We buy big so you can save big at Gaines Furniture Outlet, 7414 South Cicero, Fort City West, behind all these. Morticia's maiden name is From, and beautiful blue-eyed Carolyn Jones was transformed into Morticia by covering her naturally blonde hair with a wig. Hi, this is John Aston back again, uh, sitting here with a box. All right, thank you, thing. You know, you should understand this is a no-smoking table. Get out of here. Uh, this is very much like the kinds of cigars that Gomez used. Uh, long and thin. We wanted a long, we wanted an elegant uh, sort of feel to it. So uh, even though I don't smoke anymore, uh, I did smoke cigars uh, uh, before, the, uh, before the series and uh, uh, suggested to David Levy that uh, we include uh, a cigar for Gomez once in a while. It's a very good, very good prop. And I enjoyed cigars. but. I had to light, because we always had to have a long cigar, uh, I, would, uh, I would light a fresh cigar each time we did the shot. And uh, I remember one day, we went through a couple of boxes of uh, Marsh Wheelings, I think they were at the time. That's a rough cigar. And uh, I, um, I didn't smoke after the Adams Family. That did it for me. It was the end of my cigar days. But every once in a while, take one out, you know? Say, hi, how are you? You're spoiling me, Morticia. An Indian for each length. <laughs> well, darling, you've always said I was an Indian giver. Now I've proved it. <laughs> Good 
cigar. It's still intact, which means uh, Gomez hasn't fully used it yet. Uh, I, uh, I remember the first time we did the explosion of the trains. Uh, that was uh, actually in the uh, presentation film we did. Uh, and uh, Alan Jocelyn and I were in the scene, and uh, we really did blow up the train. It's well wreck, wasn't it? It was quite an explosion. The special effects guy had, had really uh, made sure that it would go and that it would be a spectacular explosion. And uh, uh, actually some chips of debris uh, hit me in the face and, and uh, uh, came very close to putting out an eye or something. And so we, uh, we never did anything that spectacular after that. But I, I do recall there was one incredible photograph in Life magazine of, uh, uh, of that explosion. And, uh, uh, and, and we repeated, we, we, uh, we repeated that particular explosion a few times uh, because it was so good. I'm Sam Hilliard from the Sherwood School. How do you do, Mr. Hilliard? I just stopped by to talk to you about, they're going to crash. You think so, huh? Beautiful. You meant to blow them up? Of course. Why else would a grown man play with trains? <laughs> Want to blow the other bridge? Oh, some other time. I had learned a, a smattering about fencing when I was uh, studying to be a Shakespearean actor. It's interesting how those qualities uh, are, are, were actually valuable in, in Gomez. Hey, that Shakespeare was a real gourmet, wasn't he? <laughs> All that Gomez fencing stuff was a lot of fun. Uh, I can't really say there was any any real uh, or, or, or legitimate fencing uh, in there, uh, maybe a, a flash once in a while. But <clears throat> on the other hand, uh, Gomez was able to use that sword for uh, many more valuable things than simply waving a foil. <laughs> 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 Hello, Tisha. Ah, right in the heart! <laughs> Or Tisha, your aim is perfect. So female. Mm. So deadly. So lovely. People often ask me about the weird things that, say, Gomez and Morticia did. Strange thing is, they never seemed weird to me. They seemed simply part of daily life. Uh, bullfighting, sword playing. I guess they were strange. But they were never strange to me. Tish! That sets my Spanish blood aflame. <laughs> Bubla, please. Bubla, that sets the rest of my blood aflame. Hi, <laughs> now. I on the ball. Darling, suppose I miss the ball and hit you. Counts as a stroke. <laughs> Helps develop accuracy. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> I remember laughing personally a lot at the episode in which Gomez uh, gets his driver's license. And uh, the driving examiner was played by Charlie Lane. And uh, it, it began a sort of friendship with Charlie. He and I worked in a number of movies together after that. Uh, he broke me up. You're going through a school zone. School zone. Your speedometer is registering 75 miles an hour. 75 per. What are you doing wrong? Blocking traffic? <laughs> Think, darling, think. Of course, I'm not waving to the little nippers as I drive by. Hiya, kid! Hiya! Gomez, dear, put on your brake. Brake! <laughs> that, that, the brake, Gomez! Are you sure? <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> this is the brake. Oh, well, by this time I'm out of the school zone, so I shift into high, <laughs> and away we go! Gomez, darling, you just shifted into reverse. <laughs> Oh. Well, these new cars are not what they used to be. <laughs> Neither am I. I'm pooped. <laughs> well, I guess we're all agreed that the test run was a huge success. <laughs> I did indeed, Lurch. 
Bring the car around to the door and let us away to the Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm off to take my driver's test. Now, Mr. Adams, you do know how to drive, sir. I'm going to treat you to the drive of your life. <laughs> We had many guests on the Adams family who came from sort of old Hollywood. They were old, older character actors. People like Frank Nelson, uh, Harold Perry, people I grew up enjoying, having a lot of fun watching. I remember particularly Margaret Hamilton, who played my mother-in-law. And of course, uh, Maggie was the uh, witch in The Wizard of Oz, the Wicked Witch of the West. The Adams Family album will return in a moment on WPWR TV. Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey star in Dirty Dancing. Sunday at 3 on Channel 50. Time for our final Adams Family trivia questions. What is the name of the mounted moose in the Adams living room? And what is Wednesday Adams' middle name? We'll have the answers when the Adams Family album returns. If you said the Bahamas, you're not only right, you're close. The Bahamas, the country Columbus first set foot on. Call your travel agent or princess vacations. Your dollar goes further in the country that's close. Lindsay's liquid diet can cause awful messy leaks, but with her Pampers, she's as dry as can be. Pampers Phases, the first developmental diapers for infants. <laughs> Pampers Phases has a special pocket back here, while his other leading diaper doesn't. Just look at all that protection. And with two infant sizes, she should never be in between sizes. Pampers Phases, for newborns, infants, crawlers, and walkers. The first developmental diapers for dry and happy babies, phase after phase. He supports leading-edge computer systems for some of IBM's largest customers. Sam Parker is customer engineer for IBM and a DeVry graduate. When I came out of the military, I wanted a challenging career and a quality education. DeVry helped me get both. At DeVry, you can get a four-year bachelor's degree in just three years. You learn the technology that puts you ahead in today's business. DeVry helped me advance to a great career. Call anytime. 1-800-247-7800. DeVry. We're serious about success. I love Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday. I ordered new carpeting back in September just so it would be here in time for Thanksgiving. Now I'll be thankful if it's here by Christmas. Don't wait for carpet. Call Empire. You'll see samples in your home tonight and have new carpet and padding installed tomorrow. Carpet for the holidays and no payments till spring. 588-2300-EMPIRE Do you have cranberry red? This WPWR TV news brief is being brought to you by Jewel. Russian President Boris Yeltsin is taking action to improve ties with South Korea. He told the South Korean parliament Russia could stop building submarines within the next three years. And Yeltsin handed over the flight recorder from a South Korean passenger jet shot down by Soviets in 1983. All 269 people on board Flight 007 were killed. Serve up a breakfast of jewel values. Start your day with a steaming cup of Maxwell House coffee. On sale for just $2.99 a can with coupon. Sizzle up Jimmy Dean pork sausage roll. A 12 to 16 ounce package is only $1.99. And pour a glass of Ocean Spray grapefruit juice. A 64 ounce bottle is just $2.79. For a breakfast of values. The name of the moose that is mounted in the Adams living room is Pierre. And Little Wednesday's full name is Wednesday Thursday Adams. Well, this is John Aston. Thanks for watching the Adams Family album on WPWR TV. And just remember. Oh, it's the end! <laughs> couldn't have said it better myself. Sorry, Cousin Ed, I can't be there. I'm doing my last five performances of Lend Me a Tenor at the Apollo Theater here in Chicago. I'm in Chicago. Yeah, come on out. Yeah, we have a show Sunday afternoon. We had a couple of them on Friday night, a couple of them on uh, Saturday night. Yeah.
You coming? Okay, I'll see, I'll see you there. Okay. So long. Hey, you sound great. That was Cousin Ed.